Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ is risen indeed. Oh, come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock for our salvation. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honorably among the Gentiles, so that, though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honorable deeds and glorify God when he comes to judge. For the Lord's sake, accept the authority of every human institution, whether of the emperor as supreme or of governors, as sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to praise those who do right. 
For it is God's will that if by doing right you should silence the ignorance of the foolish. As servants of God, live as free people, yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. Honor everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, honor the emperor. Slaves, accept the authority of your masters with all difference, not only those who are kind and gentle, but also those who are harsh. For it is a credit to you if, being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins and his body on the cross, so that, free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Wives, in the same way, accept the authority of your husband, so that, even if some of them do not obey the word, they may be won over without a word by their wives' conduct when they see the purity and reverence of their lives. Do not adorn yourselves outwardly by braiding your hair and by wearing gold ornaments or fine clothing. Rather, let your adornment be the inner self with the lasting beauty of gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in God's sight. It was in this way long ago when the holy women who hoped in God used to adorn themselves by accepting the authority of their husbands. Thus Sarah obeyed Abraham and called him Lord. You have become her daughters as long as you do what is good and never let fears alarm you. Husbands, in the same way, show consideration for your wives in your life together. Husbands, in the same way, show consideration for your wives in your life together, paying honor to the woman as the weaker sex, since they too are also heirs of the gracious gift of life, so that nothing may hinder your prayers. Finally, all of you, have unity of spirit, sympathy, love for one another, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse, but, on the contrary, repay with a blessing. It is for that you were called, that you might inherit a blessing. For those who desire life and desire to see good days, let them keep their tongues from evil and their lips from speaking deceit. Let them turn away from evil and do good. Let them seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and the ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appoint you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commandments so that you may love one another. If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. Because you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you. Servants are not greater than their masters. If they persuaded me, they will persuade you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all of these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. And if I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It was to fulfill the word as written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, 
The Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord, who makes every day new. Especially, we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ in all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife, warfare, or disease, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the church of Jesus Christ in every land. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.